Hey guys, I am uh, Tisu. I'm back with another video for you guys, and uh, now we're trying something new. I'm going to try my videos with English for a little bit, and uh, we'll see whether you guys like it or not. We have a new tab. It has a USB-C port and it's broken and I'm going to try to replace it with this kind of tab this is the USB-C port and the customer said they broke it as you can see the port is like damaged and I'm going to see if I have one of these ports and uh, just replace it this is a old Chinese tab which is like normal you can kind of practice board for you guys the the main thing with fixing such kind of problem is trying to not use as much heat on the board especially with this Chinese board if the board takes too much heat um, you'll have you'll run through problem so the first thing what I'm going to do is put a laden solder like this it's easier and it melts faster and um, let's see what happens I'm putting a laden solder I'll try to like live stream sometimes or or try to upload more video for you guys let me know what you think about the audio and uh, what I should add and what, what I should film for you guys um, as you can see I'm using a uh, wick soldering wick and a little bit of flux to get it going and um, I'm trying to to kind of like suck all the leaded solder off the board using the wick <coughs> I'll try to get as much as I can if not we have to use like a hot uh, hot air station so what I'm doing now is putting more flux I try to shield some part of the board with uh, some metal like this it doesn't get hot in that area I'm using 400 and I'm heating it up while using tweezer to pick up the the port don't try to pull hard instead like try to move your hot air station like this it will get even heat that was easy then we will clean up all the legs and once again be careful not to use too much heat and to stay longer on one spot like this you can remove the old solder off of the board the more you clean the more it will e be easier for you to put a new one and just easily replace I'm not pressing that much just holding it with the uh, with the iron just a little bit this is uh, I was kind of busy this days like moving from a country to another country and um, 
didn't get a chance to upload for you guys but I have a lot of videos that I made already just didn't had the time to upload everything but I'll get through it some sometime in the future so like I said like the more you clean the more easy it will be for you and this is more like a professional work if you clean you can you can see by the by the amount you clean that's how I know like a good a good technician this is a tip for you guys clean especially like flux the more you use the more the flux burns then it becomes darker then it's hard to solder but if you clean you'll have like a fresh space to put your related solder and easy so like I have a little bit of issue here I have a little let it solder stuck in the hole I'm trying to put more flux and heat it to take it out so I found a new port for this uh, luckily because most of the time like finding the right port is always some trouble especially like on a Chinese tab like this so this is perfect we have a perfect matching USB-C port easy just put it put it in position and just try to solder one leg and if everything works out you'll continue with the other ones and just solder this is like the the docking legs this is like ground all four of them are ground then we'll continue with the rest of the data lines just put more flux flux is your friend flux helps you solder better but just be careful with with kind of inhaling this smoke this is very toxic it's better th that you guys have um, a fume extractor this is like a must a fume extractor just try to google it they have all kind of fume extractors cheaper ones and all that I have like two legs touching each other so what I do is I put more flux clean my tip and try to kind of like take away more solder away from the board this looks just fine I'm going to clean once again this is a very easy job and very short. I'll try to make it sh as short as I can but uh, we're already like a 10 minutes video I always say this but hopefully it will clear up this is how it looks like it's almost like factory maybe better than f the factory I'm not gonna do all the tests just put the board back in the tab and just see if it charges. if it does it I'm sure it will and uh, we'll connect it to computer as well but just check and test and uh, this one uh, is done and we call it a fix thanks for watching the video you know what to do like subscribe if you have any question you know where to write it uh, and let me know how the video looks like And I will see you with another video. Just to check up on the video at the end. I'm going to do test of charging the tab. Alright.
Peace.